I, um, I'm not from Los Angeles, and I got questioned by everyone when I was making this film, like, you're not from LA, you know, what are you, what are you looking to get out of this film? You know, learning about LA initially for me came through hip hop, came through NWA, came through the alcoholics, came through all these West Coast groups that I was a fan of. They were commenting on what was going on, but I wasn't from LA, right? So I can take in the music and like it and think it's cool and I can say fuck the police because I can relate to that in New York City. But the actual lifestyle, West Coast lifestyle, the, the, the lifestyle of folks of color in the inner city Los Angeles, I wasn't familiar with it. Once I started uh, working on this film and interviewing people and interacting with people and being in the community, this music came to life uh, for me in ways that it hadn't before. And now I'm really thankful for the music that these guys made. As a journalist and as a filmmaker, it makes me realize the importance of the music and the importance of the culture and the stories that weren't being told by the media and or the police for obvious reasons. Thankfully, people in the community were, were telling these stories. Me and B-Real, we were fucking smoking crazy as weed and shrooming our brains out. And as we're coming over the last hill before you see the greater part of LA, it looks to me like LA's on fire. And I say to B, I was like, yo, it looks like everything's on fire, dude. He's like, dude, it does. We're fucked up. All you could see is black smoke all through the city coming into Los Angeles. And we're <laughs> fucking like, whoa, what the fuck? Is this the apocalypse? <laughs>